Choosing between the two can be a difficult choice because each scenario comes with different advantages and disadvantages. So in order to make the best choice for your playthrough, you need to know the consequences in each case. So let's go over what would happen if you decided to side with either Gortash or Orin. And let's start with Gortash. This alliance has many more advantages than disadvantages. First of all, he controls the Steel Watchers and the Flaming Fist Guards, so having him on your side will make it easier to move around the city, and also, Gortash can go with you to fight the Elder Brain. More than that, fighting him right at the coronation isn't a good idea, because he is surrounded by many Steel Watchers who are difficult to defeat, plus all the guards in the fortress will also become hostile. So, it's better to pretend that you are with him, and you can still betray him later, killing him in more favorable conditions. What? Hmm. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. Then let it be writ by the black hand of Bane. I, Lord Enver Gortash, swear I shall do you no harm. We will rise together over Toriel as a roaring sun. This isn't going to end well. Mark my words. I understand your concerns, my old friend. But allow me to demonstrate why you made the right choice. Let me demonstrate why you made the right choice. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. Take that with a grain of salt. This is Gortash we're talking to. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly, or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. On the flip side, choosing to side with Orin is the pure evil route. And of course, you can kill Gortash whenever you want. However, before doing that, you should blow up the Steel Watch Foundry, and even destroy the Iron Throne Prison, where Duke Ravengard and the Gondians are being imprisoned. Otherwise, you'll lose those quests. Once Gortash is dead, the two of you will duel it out to see who is worthy enough to take control of the Elder Brain, and your companion that she has kidnapped will also be set free. All in all, I'd say that the decision itself is not really about which side should you morally choose, but who should you kill, or who should you kill first, and when is the best moment to do it to don't alter your playthrough, your playstyle, and the ending you are looking for. If you kill both of them, your ending will revolve around the Emperor, Orpheus, and your party, rather than including one of the dead three. So if you don't want to go that route, you'll have to make a choice. In this case, the best solution is to initially work with Gortash to move around the city easier, and keep working with him until Orin has kidnapped your companion. Once this happens, and you don't want to waste your time freeing your companion, you can turn on Gortash by disabling the Steel Watch and destroying the Iron Throne. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new, sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. Silly little worm. My god is always with me. He shudders to see how my blades plunge into soft, surrendered flesh. You are dull. A blunt blade unfit to flay. But you could be sharpened, thin and jagged. Yes, I will tell you what to do. No, no, not here, not now. The tyrant must fall first. You heard.
heard Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh, how I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Gortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath, never to hang him from the hooks. Drip drain him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the Netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. We slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is balls. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Oren demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the Nether Stones, and the chance to control the crown alone. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. Oh, silly, silly little slaughterhound. My assassins will not let you. If you hunt me, then they hunt you. The murder lord will not be denied. Neither will 